What's happening guys, it's Shane here and today I have a really interesting video for you. So we are going to be talking about the highest paying professional degrees. Now, you might be asking yourself, Shane, what the heck is a professional degree? Well, I'm glad you asked and the way I like to explain it is a professional degree is almost like the combination of a traditional, you know, college degree mixed with a trade school certification. So if you go to trade school to learn welding, you're probably doing it because you want to become a welder. If you go to trade school to learn plumbing, you probably want to become a plumber. Now, this isn't necessarily true for a lot of college degrees. A lot of the time you'll get a college degree and then you do something that is completely unrelated to it. Now, this can be by design in some cases some college degrees are just very flexible and you can do a lot of different things with them but with a lot of them there just isn't that much work for the skill set that it teaches you but professional degrees kind of combine both of these together if you go to school for a professional degree say nursing or doctor or a lawyer or something along those lines chances are you intend to go into that profession whereas if you get a physics degree for instance you might end up becoming a computer programmer or working in in the finance industry or something along those lines. Now, again, this can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on your situation. I will say that professional degrees on average pay more than any other type of degree. And I'm gonna give you a variety of different options. So let's jump right into it right after you gently tap that like button. You thought I forgot, didn't you? No, I don't forget. Uh, actually, sometimes I do forget. But anyways, uh, let's set a goal for this video for 2000 728 likes also if you haven't done it already hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell as well all right so number 10 on the list is going to be a master's of business administration this is of course a master's level degree and it is a business related degree as well so that means you would likely get a four-year undergraduate degree and then you would do another two years in order to get your master's of business administration or mba now i do have mixed feelings about mbas as a whole just because they're so many different programs out there that offer this i mean you can get an mba while you're doing something else that was an option for me when i was in pharmacy school you can also very easily get an mba online and this is actually one of the most common professional degrees so many people have mbas these days but with that being said in certain situations if you have a good plan you're going to the right school this can be a good choice so one of the great things about all business degrees mba included is they tend to be extremely flexible so just about about every industry every company hires people who have business degrees so there are so many different directions you could go for instance you could become a management analyst or management consultant and they make about eighty-seven thousand dollars a year you could also become a financial manager and they make about one hundred and thirty-four thousand dollars a year so yeah this can be a very good choice for the right person the next one on the list is going to be a doctor of veterinary medicine or dvm and this is the degree that you would get if you wanted to become a veterinarian now this is a very popular degree a very popular profession as well many people want to become veterinarians because they love spending time around animals now this is a doctoral level degree so you'll likely have your undergraduate degree it's about four years and then another four years of training and classroom and clinical certification etc on top of that but for all of that you will get to work with animals and on top of it you'll be making about ninety nine thousand dollars a year now this is also one of those degrees where it's growing at 17 percent which is much faster than average to put that in perspective the average career is growing at about four to five percent and that is according to bls over the next 10 years the next one on the list number eight is going to be a master's in health administration so with this degree you will usually have your undergraduate degree which is four years and then you'll do an additional two to three years of schooling so this is a six to seven year degree now this is a very common degree that you see people getting if they want to work as a manager or an executive in healthcare. A lot of the time, these people will already be working in healthcare, either as an administrative role, or maybe they're doing something like nursing or something along those lines. Now, there's a lot of different career paths you could go down, but one of them is you could become a health services manager. According to BLS, they make about $104,000 a year, and it's growing at an absolutely ridiculous 32% over the next 10 years. So it pays really well right now, and it will likely pay very well into the future. The next one on the list, number seven is going to be a doctor of optometry or OD. So if you're someone who wears glasses or contacts, you probably 
already know what an optometrist does. They're basically a doctor that treats all things related to the eyes. Now they do diagnose and treat a lot of different visual problems, but their focus is on prescribing eyeglasses or contacts. Now this is one of those careers where I did a ton of research on it. And in my opinion, I think BLS is actually a little bit wrong on this one. I think it's even better than what it says on BLS. And don't get me wrong, it's still pretty good on BLS. So they make about $118,000 a year. And it says it's growing about 9%, which is pretty good. But that's actually relatively low compared to a lot of other professional degrees. But I think the reason that it's probably going to be even better than 9% is because people are staring at screens their phones, their computers, their TVs, their tablets, etc., for a ridiculously long period of time. And because of that, their vision is going to degrade and it's going to be a lot worse than it was in the past. And so that is going to increase the need for more and more optometrists, in my opinion. So I think this one is going to be even better than what it says on BLS. BLS does a great job, in my opinion, with all of their different objective ways of measuring what the demand is. But I think in this particular case, there's something that is impossible uh, to measure objectively and it's more of a subjective sort of opinion thing so I disagree with them on this one number six on the list is going to be a master's of science in nursing or MSN and this is what you would get if you wanted to become a nurse practitioner now nurse practitioners also known as APRNs or advanced practice registered nurses can do many of the same things as a doctor they can prescribe they can diagnose they are somewhat limited depending on regulations what they can can prescribe and diagnose but this is one of those careers that I really love because a lot of people want to become a doctor for the right reasons but they don't want to go through the ridiculously long amount of time it takes to go through MD or DO school you know you have to do eight years of schooling and then a residency that lasts three to seven years this is a much faster way to do something that's very similar to what you would be doing as a doctor but in my opinion you have a better work-life balance and you don't have to sacrifice as much this is one of my favorite favorite careers out there fantastic one if you've watched my other videos about health careers you've probably heard about this one but yeah nurse practitioners make about hundred and seventeen thousand dollars per year and they're growing at an absolutely ridiculous 45 percent over the next 10 years that is likely going to be the highest on this video by far. It's also very flexible. So you have the option of going back and getting your DNP, which is a doctorate of nurse practitioner training. And then that way you make even more money and you can do even more stuff. There's certain specialties like nurse anesthetist where you can easily clear $200,000 a year. Number five on the list is going to be a Juris Doctor. And this is the degree that you would get if you wanted to become a lawyer. Now, in order to become a lawyer, you're usually going to have a four-year bachelor degree and then grad school it takes around three years or so so it's about a seven-year degree overall but it is a doctoral level degree and then after you graduate from law school you have to pass a very difficult exam called the bar exam that Kim Kardashian recently failed now lawyers make around hundred and twenty six thousand dollars a year and it's growing at about nine percent which is a little above average I will say one thing about becoming a lawyer is it could be number one on this list or it could not make the top 100, right? A lot of people who get their law degree, try to become lawyers, end up not working as a lawyer or an attorney at all. Or they work for a few years, get tired of it, and they quit and just try something else. This is one of those careers that's high risk, high reward. It's extremely competitive, uh, very difficult work. You're gonna be working at really long hours, but there are lawyers out there that make tens of millions of dollars a year. The next one on the list is a little bit more of a stable career, and that is going to be a farm d or doctor of pharmacy this is the degree that i got and of course with this degree you would become a pharmacist now pharmacists of course are famous for being able to read doctor's handwriting and then interpreting that chicken scratch and safely dispensing the medication that the doctor meant but they also do a bunch of other things as well. So for instance, they answer health questions to the public and pharmacists are actually the most accessible healthcare professional. You can literally go up to a pharmacist and ask them a question and they'll probably be able to answer it within a few minutes. Whereas if you try to ask your doctor a question, it might be a few weeks. On top of that, pharmacists also do a number of other healthcare related tasks. We take blood pressure, we measure blood sugar, we do immunizations. And there are many other pharmacist jobs besides the 
the you know usual one that you probably picture in your head when you think of a pharmacist the person with the white coat working in your grocery store there's actually 49 different types of pharmacists the last time i counted and they make about a hundred and twenty eight thousand dollars a year so yeah i've talked about this one a lot on my channel uh can be a great career for the right type of person i will say that many people go into pharmacy for the wrong reasons uh i think they go into it because it's a doctorate you know it's one of the easier doctorates maybe to get i i, I don't know if i should say that but yeah and on top of that it makes a lot of money so a lot of people go into it uh not knowing what they're getting themselves into and they end up not being happy with it number three on the list is going to be a doctor of podiatry and this is going to be a doctor that is an expert in all things related to the lower legs so basically your feet and your ankles this is another one where you have to earn a four-year degree on top of usually having an undergraduate degree as well so it's going to be about eight years and for that you'll make around a hundred and thirty four thousand dollars a year so yeah very high paying and can be good for the right person number two on the list is going to be a doctor of dental medicine or dds and you would get this degree in order to become a dentist this is another one that's going to be four plus four so eight years overall one thing about this career i always like to mention is you take out a lot of money in order to get through dental school it's very expensive and then on top of that a lot of people will take out additional loans in order to start their own practice so you may end up being five hundred thousand plus dollars in debt maybe even over a million dollars in debt so just keep that in mind this is one of those careers where you kind of have to delay gratification for a long period of time you'll likely be paying down your debt into your 30s or 40s but with that being said if you are able to start a successful practice and pay down all of your debt which you probably will eventually this is a fantastic one for you to get into it's not personally my taste i tend to shy away from degrees where you have to spend a ridiculous amount of time just to get back to zero just to dig yourself out of the hole but it can be great for the right person so with this one you'll make around hundred and sixty four thousand dollars a year and it's growing at eight percent which is a little bit above average but I would say if you compare that to other healthcare related professions and degrees um, the demand there is not as good as a lot of other ones and in fact the last two I forgot to uh, mention the demand on them uh, they weren't that great either number one on the list is going to be no surprise to anybody that is going to be a medical doctor and you can become a medical doctor by getting an MD degree or a DO currently MD is a little bit better than DO uh, it's harder to get into an MD program than it is to get into a DO program and they do make slightly more money however over the next five to ten years or so they are merging these two degrees so they both become medical doctors so they probably will have you know no difference whatsoever they're just gonna be the same thing now becoming a medical doctor is extremely rigorous uh, you have to go through undergrad and you have to get really good grades it's not easy to get into med school at all so you have to not only get your degree but you have to be a stellar student which is not easy to do and then on top of that they expect you to do lots of different extracurriculars lots of shadowing etc and then if you are lucky enough to make it into med school medical school itself is very difficult and then if you're lucky enough to make it through medical school, then you have a three to seven year residency to look forward to. And then some people even go back and do another fellowship that could be another two or three years, right? So this is another one of those degrees, kind of like dentists where you are in it for the long haul. And doctors make so much money that it basically broke the BLS calculations. Um, they say that they make $208,000 per year or more. And I can tell you, I've done lots of research on this. You'll probably make more than 208,000 a year. Year. Um, it does depend on which specialty you go into and a bunch of things like that I actually did a video on the highest paying specialties um, and you know spoiler alert some of them made over seven hundred thousand dollars a year but the job outlook for this one is about three percent which is slower than average so this is one that can be great for the right person um, I would say you really want to be kind of like an a type personality somebody who's really on the ball and motivated if you try to go into this career a lot of medical doctors end up getting burned out because you know the schooling is ridiculously hard and then they have to do that residency where they're probably working 80 hours a week during their residency and then they've got a mountain of debt to pay down after that 
and I did make an entire video uh, kind of talking about the downsides of going down that route since it's just so ridiculously popular. I mean, when I was an undergrad, it seems like, you know, I took a lot of like science classes, of course, and it seems like every other person I met was trying to become a medical doctor and very, very few of them actually succeeded. So check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And I will see you next time.